welcome to Compassion Corner, three minutes of helpful tips for creating a more compassionate work environment. Let's face it, it's generally pretty easy to be compassionate to people we like, who are like us, believe like we do, have similar work ethics and personality types. It's a little more difficult to be compassionate to people who are different, who have different values, who have different approaches, communication styles, perhaps even management styles that are different than our own. Being compassionate is not being a wet blanket. It is taking time to step back and really seeing the person as a human, just like ourselves, with feelings, emotions, and opinions. They just happen to be different. When conflict approaches, our bodies move into a defense mode of fight or flight. Our heart rate goes up, our breathing goes up, and fear ensues, and we want to protect ourselves. But when we have that effect, sometimes it does prevent our ability to be compassionate. And we have to reframe reality and teach ourselves to see the other person as part of the human condition. Except we may not have all the facts and determine a compassionate approach to manage or resolve the conflict. It's always possible the person really doesn't see the impact of what they are saying or doing. Just as you and I may not always be aware of the impact of our actions and personal preferences in the workplace, we most definitely suffer from our own bias of BLM syndrome or otherwise known as be like me. But unfortunately, not everyone is just like us, and that can be a good thing. So what is one thing you can do to demonstrate compassion in the workplace? How can we start practicing compassion? Well, let's start with ourselves. Are we compassionate or critical? Do we tend to judge first and ask questions later? Do we suspend judgment and an opportunity to understand the truth and reframe reality? Taking time to put the stops on that fight or flight response, understand that it's a natural response, but that we have the control and the choice to move forward, to develop self-awareness, understand potential barriers, to applying compassion to complex situations, it's the first step in building your compassion toolkit and skills for interpersonal communication. I hope this one tip of suspending judgment to move forward with a compassionate approach in the workplace is helpful. And remember to be as kind to yourself as you are to others.